Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Valpal, and today I want to talk about RPWT or radio pressure wave therapy. Before we get started though, I want to thank the fine folks from uh, MedCore Professionals for letting us borrow their unit for a while. We've been using this one for about a month now uh, with some very excellent results. This one happens to be the Chattanooga Mobile 2 RPW. Um, very, very simple to use. So first of all, what is RPW or radial pressure wave therapy? Um, basically, the machine is a, a, a compressor and that compressor will send some air into this head and basically pushing a little projectile back and forth, producing an acoustic wave, okay? So some of us are familiar with breaking kidney stones with lithotripsy, okay? A very similar unit, okay? This is basically where this has been derived from. Uh, the difference is that when you use a, uh, a device for breaking up those kidney stones, the sound wave starts wide and goes into a point hits the target and breaks it up. Whereas with the RPW that we're gonna be using, um, starts at the head and widens as it goes out, okay? So it, it has a, a very great therapeutic um, aspect to this where we can increase blood flow to the tissues, we can increase the elasticity of the tissues. This works really well in chronic situations where you may have somebody who has an adhesive capsulitis or a periformis syndrome, uh, that chronic tendinopathy type issues like plantar fasciopathy and Achilles tendinopathy works really well with patella tendinopathy, um, does a really nice job with that. So um, it's a modality like any other modality out there, okay? It has its limitations but it also has its benefits and one of the benefits is that you know when you use it it can penetrate that that sound wave or acoustic wave can penetrate about two inches deep so you can really get those deep structures really well there are not a lot of contraindications or um, precautions with this we, um, you know, we find that the people who have acute discomfort have a little more discomfort when using it. So um, we might be decreasing the intensity. This is measured in bars. It's very easy to adjust. So you basically set where you want to start. Um, it delivers um, 2,000 pulses uh, over the course of about two, two and a half minutes. And um, you can change the uh, amount of pulses that they're getting uh, in, in regards to Hertz. Very easy, the protocols are all written out for all the different diagnoses and um, pretty simple to use. And so we've been using it with some of our patients and just adding it as another you know, piece of the treatment puzzle and we've had these amazing results with people who've had some adhesive capsulitis, lateral, chronic lateral hip pain um, and some of these patients, this is the only thing that we've done differently and we've seen some pretty significant improvement with it. It does a great job at bringing blood flow to the area, not just to the skin, um, but also to the deeper structures. And so we know that bringing blood flow to those areas is, is a healthy thing to do. Um, you can do it before treatment. I like to actually finish up my treatment with patients with it. And um, like I said, it doesn't take very long. Now, if you were to say that there is a con to this, um, it is a little uncomfortable when you do the treatment. Some people find no discomfort whatsoever, um, but there is this little pulsating type of feeling that you're gonna have. Basically about a four to a five over 10 on a pain scale um, is what you're looking for. And uh, it, uh, it, it's very simple. You have you know, a gel, a conductive gel, uh, that you put on the skin. You place this directly on the area and you get started with your treatments. You increase your intensity um, till they feel like they're getting that four to six on a pain scale and um, you continue with the treatment in that region. Nice thing is that you don't necessarily have to move the head. Uh, it's not the same as ultrasound where you have to keep that head moving all the time to get that thermal effect. Um, you can keep the head in one spot and move it side to side, okay? now. RPW really came from lithotripsy, okay, or the, the treatment of kidney stones where you took a sound wave and drove that sound wave together to a point to the target that would help to break that up and basically shake it and break it um, and destroy that. And that was found to be very, very successful and still is very successful. So to take this onto a therapeutic level, they took this wave basically this acoustic wave and instead of making it converge to one point they made it diverge a little bit so it would get more tissue okay so 
um, a, a larger area of tissue. So again, great for that adhesive capsulitis where you want to get that anterior capsule, maybe posterior capsule, chronic upper trapezius trigger points and, and spasm and pain, uh, piriformis syndrome, things like your Achilles tendinopathy, patella tendinopathy, and um, you know, those more chronic scenarios, this does a great job with that. Um, very safe, not a lot of contraindications or precautions to it. Uh, I just wouldn't do it, you know, around the facial region, uh, especially like the eyes or on the head. But um, with very low intensity, <clears throat> it can be utilized for TMJ. Uh, any type of tendinopathy type of issue or capsular restriction, uh, the RPW does a, a really good job with that. So in a little bit, we'll do a demonstration for you. The other um, probably downfall to this particular device is that it's a little bit on the noisy side, okay? So that um, air compressor will be shooting that projectile to make that acoustic wave, and that knocking is a little bit on the louder side nothing intolerable, nothing like crazy loud. It's uh, not like shooting off a gun or anything like that, but it is a little bit on the louder side. Other than that, we've had some excellent results with this. We've been using it for a month. We're probably gonna be purchasing it and uh, and we're gonna continue utilizing it with our patients for, uh, you know, to bring blood flow to the area to help improve mobility and uh, just to add this tool to our toolbox, which um, is uh, very helpful. So stay tuned and we're gonna give a little demonstration on how we like to use the RPW. Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to do just a little demonstration on using the RPW on a chronic plantar fasciopathy here. Uh, there are two different, one thing I want to mention, there are two different sized sound heads. So, or I say, call them sound heads because I'm so used to using ultrasound, but um, two different heads that you can use. One's a little bit bigger. So if you're going to be doing like a glute upper trap, maybe uh, piriformis, the bigger one works better. They're very easy to change out, okay? You, you screw it on, screw it off. We're gonna use the smaller one because we have a tiny little foot here. You simply use like an ultrasound gel as the medium. Pick your parameters. I usually like to start a little bit on the lower side and uh, that way, you know, you can kind of work it up and find where you want to be as far as that intensity level. So we want this to be like a four to five on a pain scale, you know, of zero being no pain, 10 being the worst possible pain you've ever had. Okay, so we're basically going to find our location that we want to get to and you just start it up. As you can hear, it does make a little bit of noise and you can get right on that fascia. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can, how would you say your pain level is? Uh, four. Okay, so that's right where we want it. And so we can simply work that whole tissue, okay, that, that whole fascia. Or if there's a location that's, you know, really, really tight, maybe near the calcaneal tubercle, we can kind of just focus on that area. We're at 15 hertz, 1.3 bars. This goes through about 2,000 uh, basically pulses over the course of the treatment. It takes about two to two and a half minutes. Um, and as you can see, very, very simple. If I wanted to stop it, I basically just turn it back off. I want to start it. I hit it again and we get going again, okay? Um, so it's really easy to use, very user friendly. And uh, we've had a really, really good success with, uh, with using the RPW. So if you have any questions in regards to uh, you know more information about RPW, just uh, leave messages or me leave a note in the uh, show notes, and I'll be more than happy to try to get back to you. If you like today's video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.